Hey guys, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to look at quickly getting ads set up in our mobile game, whatever that mobile game may be. In this case, I have a little concept that I'm working on for somebody. And I am going to show you how you can quickly get Unity ads set up in your game. We're going to be working with Android specifically, but it's not that important because we're only going to be using the ads in the editor to see that they work with our tests. Now this is going to be a quick getting started guide, but if you are interested in getting more details, more in depth look at actually working with ads in a game and how you could implement them with different types of logic, different conditions, and even look at rewarding players for engaging in your advertising and you know watching the ads, then we can actually do that in another lesson. Just let me know in the comments below and we'll look into that. But for now, I just want to show you how you can quickly get ads set up running in your game. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to Window and I'm going to go over to Services and open that up. And it's going to be attached over here with the Inspector. Now I have a Services tab and I'm going to select Organization. Now I have already set up an organization with my Unity account that I am signed into on Unity. So if you have to do that, you can do that through the Unity dashboard. If you go to account and go to account just like that, then you have organizations and I have organizations set up here, but you can do add new and create your own organization. Now I'm going to tie this project to an organization. I'm going to tie it to Game Grind as publisher and I'm going to click create. Now that ties it to that organization and generates an ID for me. So I have access to all these services now, which is pretty cool. But all I care about for this lesson, and again, if you want to see more stuff with this, let me know. We'll talk about that as well. I'm going to just turn on my ads by clicking on ads. And I'm going to toggle it on by clicking the toggle switch right here. And my app is not targeted at children, so I'm going to click continue. And then again, toggle it back on. And under advanced, if you have enable built-in ads extension enabled, you don't have to install anything extra. It handles all that for you. But if you don't have that enabled, then you'll have to go to the uh, asset store to get the actual plugin. But I want that enabled, so it'll do it by default for me. Pretty cool. I'm also going to enable test mode because we are going to be testing it in the in uh, test environment here, the editor. And that's all I have to do for the settings. Now, I do want to show you, if I go to the dashboard, here are my stats for this game. is obviously not released, so there's no data here. But uh, this is where you can see all your stats, which is pretty cool. If I go over to the platforms, I have the App Store and Google Play Store, and then my IDs. I'm going to go to the Google Play Store, and these are the ads that are by default set up to work with Unity Ads. You can add new placements, just like this. And you can also edit the current ones. I'm going to be using the default video and rewarded video. And again, if you want to see how to reward the player for watching a, a video ad, let me know in the comments below and we'll set up a little example in the next lesson. So we're going to be looking at the placement ID here. So that's how you reference what ad you want to show. And I'm going to be using the little slug string here for that. So I'm going to create an ad manager and call it whatever you want. Open this up in Visual Studio. Now what I want to do for testing purposes, I want to be able to hit a key on my keyboard and it show an ad. Simple as that, that's all we're going to do. So I'm going to include the namespace for advertising, which is Unity Engine dot advertisements. And I'm just going to check for input and update. Pretty standard stuff here. So now that I'm checking for hitting the E key, whenever you hit the E key, I want to make sure, first of all, that the ad that I want to show is ready to be shown. If it's not, let's say it's loading or there's an error, I don't want to show, I don't want to try to show it and crash the game or break something, right? So I want to make sure that it's ready to go before I attempt to show it. So to do that, I will say if advertisement dot is ready and I can pass this a string value or you can let it default to whatever the default ad is and you can actually change that right here. So that is the default. So I can let it be the default by not passing in a parameter, or I can pass in the placement ID parameter, which in this case would be video for the video. So if it is ready, what do I want to do? I want to show it, right? So I want to say advertisement dot show. And I want to pass in video, again, the placement ID, 
And if you wanted to do default, you just would not pass in any values. So placement ID video video. Now whenever the E key, it'll check, see if it's ready. If it is, it'll show the ad. See what happens. In my game, hit the E key. Nothing happens because I did not add it to anything that's actually in the game. So I'm going to drop it on my player. Now click play. Hit the E key. And I get this window pop up that says, Unity adds, this screen would be your ad unit. Everything seems to be working. Then you can skip the ad or close the ad. So this is just a dummy ad to show you that everything is hooked up, everything is loading in, everything's working fine. And your ad would actually display here if it was the release version on the asset or on the uh, app store, or in this case, the play store. So if I click close, it'll close out the ad. Again, open it back up and I can skip the ad. And you can also do it with rewarded video, right? So if we were to do rewarded video, just like that, that is the name of that ad, that ad placement. Let's try that out. Again, hit E. And now I do not have a skip option because rewarded video by default means that when the ad is shown, they are going to watch it all the way through. And once they do watch it all the way through, they will receive a reward. Think about unlocks in games or gems in games. If they watch this ad, they get 10 gems to do whatever they want to do with. So they have to watch the ad to get the gems. It's another alternative to buying gems with money, which would be in-app purchases, which I can actually talk about too in the future. If you would like to see that in a lesson, do let me know in the comments below. So that is pretty much what we have done now. We have ads in our game. Now they're not doing anything for us, right? They are just a dummy ad. But if you were to release this on the App Store, on the Play Store, then you would have ads showing in your game. And there could be a couple of edge case things you have to do, a couple of quirky things you may have to change. Obviously, getting a game on the Asset Store requires you to be able to publish on Android with a license. It requires you, which is like 25 bucks, not a big deal, it requires you to um, sign your APK, the SDK for Android linked up here and as well as the Java development kit. It requires a few things that uh, take you a bit to set up, but once you do, you should be good to go. And again, I could talk about this in a lesson if you are interested in that. Trying a new thing with this approach to the tutorial, so maybe you're interested in actually uh, setting up services or actually publishing a game, we can talk about that stuff. So let me know in the comments below if you want me to s you want to see this go a bit further. I'd be happy to do that for you. But we have ads set up. Now, obviously, your ad manager, you would have something uh, that would be a type of handler that you could talk to that would say, show this ad now, and then it would handle the ad, and it would have something that handled the callback for that whenever the ad was finished. But that is for a more in-depth tutorial. So that is it for this lesson. My name is Austin, and I will see you next time.